Magnum's trying to eat a back shoulder bug that's on the other side of the window. <laughs> See it there? It's a box elder bug on the window on the other side. And I've been sitting here watching him try to get it. Magnum! You want to eat that bug? You want to eat that bug? <laughs> oh, silly dog. It's a silly dog. It's such a gloomy day today. It rained all day yesterday. Well, it started about 11 o'clock. And it's raining all day today. And I still have three dogs in your room, by the way, you guys. What's it been, like, four or five days since I said I was going to groom the other three? <laughs> we got some nice weather for a couple days. So we did some work outside, sat by the fire, played with the dogs. <laughs> And then I thought, okay, I got to get these dogs groomed. So now it's raining and now I'm making the excuse that, well, since it's raining, I'll wait till it clears up. <laughs> I am very much a procrastinator, you guys. I'm very much a procrastinator when it comes to certain things. So yeah. So you're going to get that bug? You think you can get him? Huh? You think you can get him? What are you looking for? Are you waiting for my uh, deliveries? Are you keeping an eye out for him for me? You let me know when they're here, okay? You let me know when they're here. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I filmed nothing more after I videotaped Magnum. Um, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. I filmed Magnum. Um, trying to get that bug in the window. I didn't groom any dogs So I have to get at least McGee done today. I have to So I'm on my way to family farm and home and if I can't find what I need there I have to go to PetSmart but Yesterday well, it happened a couple days ago too. Magnum When I was doing dishes yesterday, I don't know when he did it last time chewed a hole in my carpet uh, where the living room and the hallway to the bedrooms leads right on the seam so I'm thinking we could probably get some a carpet person to come and re-stretch it and re-seam it uh, like uh, seam it together um, if not we're gonna have to probably replace that little stretch of hallway carpet <laughs> That dog, I swear, he, he is not like any of my other dogs. <laughs> so I'm going to look for that bitter apple spray, I think it's called, um, to spray on that to see if I can keep him from chewing it even more um, until we can get that fixed. So what it was was, I think when I steam cleaned the carpets, little um, nylon uh, pieces from under the carpet were sticking through and it caught his attention and he started chewing it. So, I'll have to show you guys when I get home what he did. He's a little stinker, let me tell you. That dog, <laughs> it's gonna be the death of me. All right, so I'm on my way to the store. I just wanted to mention real quick that I, um, I just stopped at the P.O. box to see if I had any late entries, which I didn't. I think I got all the entries uh, and Bonnie, I got yours in time. I know you're worried about that. So if I do get any late entries, which I don't think I will, but if I do, I will definitely keep them for my next giveaway in December. So don't worry if it came in late. I will hang on to it. Okay, let's do a quick family farm and home haul. <laughs> what I bought. Okay, they did have some... Uh, Bitter spray. This is by. So I'm using my phone to video. Forgot my camera. Na Nature Vet Bitter Yuck. No chew spray. It says you can spray it even on. Excuse my nail polish, guys. Got to redo my nails. Um, I know you don't care about that, but I just saw my nail I was like, oh. <laughs> says you could also spray it on wounds, so safe enough for that. So I'll have to try this out and let you guys know. How I like it. And then I got this, which I've never seen before. I'm assuming it's like stop that. 
So it was an, it was only seven ninety nine, and I know at PetSmart that stop that spray is like seventeen dollars. I can't remember exactly seventeen to twenty dollars. So um, I have the um, Sonic Egg, but I thought maybe like when I'm sitting on the couch, if I see Magnum go towards that spot, this may get his attention. Cause since I'm using the Sonic Egg for the barking. I thought maybe this would get his attention to keep him from that spot in case that spray don't work. I don't know. $7.99, I figured it's not a bad thing to have on hand. I'll have to let you know if this works just like the stop that. And then I got two collars. I buy the collars here. They're reflective. And they're only $4.99. So they always have a different assortment, so I have different colors. And uh, Marley's collar... This wears off and just gets dingy looking way faster than the other boys. So I don't know if he has more oils in his skin um, that do that. I'm not sure. So I just picked up a couple extra collars um, to have. And what else did I buy? Bought some, um, I know a lot of people hate rawhide, but I picked up some rawhide twists. Ten of those. And I bought myself this, I thought it was a dog leash at first hanging there. This massive 10 foot cord for my phone so when I'm on my phone and I need it to reach far. So this was $9.99. So hey, thought I'd try it out. I like when I'm laying in bed and I have it plugged in and uh, it's, it's hard to reach. I figured I'd try that. So that's what I got. What was my total? So oh lord, I forgot. This is going to have to add to my... October expenses, the video I'm doing for you guys, um, if I can open the bag up and put this stuff back, um, I'm trying not to spend any more money, but you know me, I, well, you might not know me, I start getting into dog stuff, and, so if you minus the 10 bucks for my cord, I spent 33 on the dogs, but you'll see that in my expense video if you guys don't, um, Hold on, let me switch the camera around if I can. Can I do that while I'm recording? Probably not. Hold on. No, I'm doing a video every month of what I spend at my boys because I get a lot of questions of how expensive is it to have um, all my animals, you know, the five boys and the cat. So I'm doing a video on that. I gotta turn the heat down. It's a little chilly, but now I'm getting a little toasty. Um, I'm doing a video on that so you guys can see, not because I'm complaining or anything, just a lot of people are interested in that. So, um, probably, um, October, what is 31st or the 1st of November, I'll have a video up, um, showing what all I, uh, spent on the boys in Truman, Kitten, um, in the month of October. I was going to do that every month for maybe a year and then see how much I spend in a year and it's kind of been it's been very eye-opening to me too because I never really paid attention to it before um, until now since I've been paying attention for you guys so anyway so look for that at the end of the month grabbed myself some lunch grabbed my daughter a sandwich to take to work you guys got a pot belly sandwich place around your house oh my gosh this opened up a couple months ago well, it might have been longer than a couple months ago, but I love their sandwiches. They're so much better than Subway, so much better than Jimmy John's. Um, I just love them. So I had to drop some stuff, uh, some donations off at the Goodwill. Went through my closet last night, got rid of some. I hated getting rid of some hoodies, but they had stains on them, so I had to get rid of some hoodies. I have to pick myself up some uh, <laughs> new Michigan State hoodies. Um, so now I'm on my way home. We have, um, a lady coming to draw blood, ask some questions. It's for, my husband and I are, um, considering getting life insurance, which we should have done this long ago. I'm 46. My husband's 42. Um, I don't know how well this is videotaping. It's kind of cloudy out and I'm filming on my phone. Hopefully it's not too dark. It's only 12.30 in the afternoon. But uh, we need to get life insurance. Especially, God forbid, I was thinking, what if something happened to both my husband and I um, unexpectedly at the same time and my kids are left to deal with that and five dogs? 
I just can't even imagine um, leaving my kids and us not have any. Well, my husband has a small life insurance policy, but we got to think about that. And my and then I started thinking about God. What if my kids? My my daughter is twenty one. My son seventeen. If something happened to us. They may not want to take care of five dogs, so we've got to start thinking about um, if the unexpected happened, you know? I know it's a terrible thing to have to think about, but things happen. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. So, um, so do you guys have plans in place if you have multiple pets or even one pet um, of what will happen with that pet? It's really bothering, not bothering me, but really bugging me now thinking about that. Because um, it's something I, we really need to think about. Would our pets have to be split up and given to family members? I just don't, I don't know. I need to, I need to uh, start thinking about this and having a plan in place. So, so I got to go home, wait for that lady to come, and then I can finally groom at least Miggy. I've been so lazy. Ever since my friend passed away, um, she committed suicide, and it's been really tough, like, just, just trying to comprehend why, and I know I'll never, we'll never know why, for sure, and it's just, it's been really hard, and I think that's just been, uh, it's been throwing me off my game. <laughs> it's my, uh, I'm very much a in order type of person and very much on my game usually but ever since that happened I've just been off so anyways I gotta get home what are you boys doing in there what are you boys doing in there huh <laughs> they're playing under my bed okay so let me show you the spot that Magnum chewed watch out Miggy okay right here right there he's chewing on the carpet and it's the seam right here uh, that goes down to the hallway so I'm thinking maybe able to have a carpet guy restretch that and reseam it but until then I sprayed this bitter yuck let's see if it'll focus probably not nature vet bitter yuck sprayed that on there and let me tell you guys if you get this or any kind of bitter spray, when you're spraying it, hold your breath. And then walk away really fast because I inhaled a little bit of the spray when I sprayed it. And let me tell you what, it was nasty. So if that dog continues to chew on that spot with this spray, I think he's the, he'll be considered the little devil dog because he is such a stinker. So... I'll let you guys know if he uh, continues to chew. Look guys, this is where all the pictures, oh, let me turn off one of these lights. I have some older pictures on here and I have um, all the new ones except for the ones that were printed on paper um, that were sent in for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I kept those attached to the letters so I could keep it. So I did not cut those out and hang them up. Um, but all the loose photos I received, I hung here in my grooming room. So you may see your dog there. And I know Doc the Schnauzer's on here twice because <laughs> he sent me a photo. I believe it was last Halloween. Was this last ha Halloween? I think it was. So, um, and then here's the new one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so anyways, this is where I'm, this is my grooming room in the basement. So this is where I hang everybody's photo who sends me one um, so I can see them all the time. And someone asked me if I still am enjoying this pet dryer I bought by Go Pet Club. Yes, I love this thing. Love it. So I'm finally going to groom Mr. Miggy. Miggy, you ready to get groomed? Are you ready to get groomed? He hears the other boys upstairs crying, so let me get him done. Okay, this guy is done. It's dark down here. Let's see if we can get a better. Here we go. Yes, you're all done. Yes, you are. We just got to clean up the hairy mess. 
and I got hair all over my face. So we finally got Mickey done, guys. <laughs> it's only been four or five days I've been saying he's got to get done. Are you ready to get down? Yeah? You ready to go outside, okay? Okay, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.